Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at working with files, copying files, moving files, renaming files, and deleting files. To get started, let's look at copying files. To copy a file, use the copy command. It's CP. All the Unix commands are designed to be very short, and fast, and easy to type. The copy command takes as its first argument the name of the file you'd like to copy. So in this case, it's going to be shopping list. An argument, by the way, is just a piece of text that you pass to a command. So we say sh this, this shopping list.txt is our first argument. And the second argument is going to be where we'd actually like to copy the file to and the name of the file we'd like to copy it to. So we'll, we'll copy it in the same directory and we'll change, we'll have a different name. We'll call it copy shopping list. .txt. And so that's going to copy the shopping list. If we list the directory contents, we can see our copied shopping list.txt file here. The next thing we're going to look at is moving files. So we use the move command, mv, and move's first argument is the name of the file you'd like to move. So we'll use simple text file.txt. And the second argument is where you'd like to move it to. So we're going to start in the home directory. And then we're going in there, we're going to go into, on, into the desktop directory and run that. And we can see that what that's done is moved simple text file.txt onto the desktop. And we can see it here in the finder because we're actually on the desktop in OS X. So that's moving. If we list the contents of the directory, we can see the simple text file.txt is no longer there. The next thing we're going to look at is deleting files. To delete files, we use the remove command, rm, and we pass to rm the name of the file we'd like to remove. So we're going to remove that copied shopping list that we, we made earlier. And we've got to be very careful with the remove commands because on OS X, a single return, a single execution of that command will remove that file. So that's removing files. You can see copied shopping list.txt is no longer there. To rename a file, we actually use one of our existing commands that we've already seen. We use the move command. So if we want to rename our end video message.txt file, we can go mv end video message.txt uh, ultimate end video message.txt. And if we look at the contents of the directory, we can see shopping list.txt and ultimate end video message.txt. So that was copying files, moving files, deleting files, renaming files, and just to recap, outputting a file using cat. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.